became a documentary photographer after I left the business world and I wanted to travel. I thought I had an artistic sensibility, photographic sensibility, and I did some work for a NGO that was that specialized in environmental projects. Uh, I did. I, they thought I did a decent enough job, and I, th and I wanted to continue. That when you're a photographer, you you're, you get to see a lot and document a lot. But for me, I've always felt like a spectator on the outside, and seeing people in these communities, I felt like I wanted more a closer human connection. And I thought that well, maybe I could do both. Continue my career as a documentary photographer at the same time. Learn the skills to work with people who are in distress, who are in need. I got involved with an NGO that I eventually became the vice president of, and I did a lot of photographic work for that NGO. The Denon Project set up medical clinics, microcredit programs, educational programs, small remote parts of, of the developing world. I started a new project as of July, um, this past July. It's called TEAM the Empathic Entrepreneur Equality Mission. We're about to have three sites in the developing world where we empower immigrant refugees living in the developed world with financial and operational support to go back to their home country to support a community in the form of microloans, medical care, and an educational progress, a holistic program to help these remote impoverished communities is a degree in clinical social work. Good for, as a background in the international arena. I'm thinking about being with a client at an internship here, and I have this visual in my head of the client in this shelter with his family. And I think having the engagement skills and the empathy training in that shelter in the Bronx could be taken anywhere. So if you have a sense of adventure and you want to take, your, if you want to combine sense of adventure and, and, and empathic aptitude, sure, it, it can work very well.